Are you ready? <laughs> so tell us yeah. what you tell us what you learned in your school of turkey the other day. Don't point it at anyone. That's like the biggest one. Yes. Because it can go off anytime and treat again like it's always loaded. Yep. <laughs> Dealing with COVID like everyone else, we decided to make the most of our time. We decided to take Tiffany's sister, Olivia, on a turkey hunt for the first time. <laughs> that is fun! <laughs> we went over a few things, got familiar with the gun, let her shoot a few times, and prepared for the hunt the next day. How was that? That was a lot more powerful. A little more power? I'm excited. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be a dead bird. Oh, he's going to be pickled. <laughs> Guys, we finally got here. We tried doing a video earlier and we were cut short with the light and me not turning on the microphone. So, we've got the mic on, but Olivia's the masked bandit looking like Freddy Cougar back here. <laughs> gonna rip some turkey's faces off. You can barely see you. <laughs> we're uh, we're gonna get up, get up in here. We're kind of running on a little bit of daylight here, so. We're gonna get tucked in the back here, get set up, and listen for any gobblers. This morning, first day of youth season in Missouri, so stay tuned for more action. Finally got set up here, got the decoy set out in front of us. We're up on this ridge that we've had this blind at before. Uh, we've got, it sounds like two or three gobblers across these railroad tracks, uh, probably within 150 yards. Hoping they kind of work down this ridge and work towards us a little bit. Um, we're gonna sit here probably for quite a while, waiting these guys out, because they sound like they're getting a little closer. Stay tuned.
What did you think? It's really fun. And I can't wait to come back. Are we going back out this afternoon? Yeah. What are we getting ready to do now? Go eat. I'm gonna go eat. I think she's hungry. Really hungry. <laughs> we just got back to the car here. We're gonna get our duds, duds off here, go grab some breakfast, and get a game plan for this afternoon. We might go sit up at a spot for just a little bit. Um, I know of some birds on our uh, honey hole property that we deer hunted in the uh, fall that there is some jakes and some other some other birds that are working through this field about noon on our cell cam so we might go sit up there for just a little bit and see what we see if we don't get any luck there we might slip back out to this spot we know where the birds are roosting so we're going to get a game plan and go we'll check back in here after a while see you then Bashing time. <laughs> we fit in a bash of food. We're gonna get back after it this afternoon. We all got, I think, some wild hair from this morning. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get our bellies full. Get fueled back up with some. Uh, snack for this afternoon and get a game plan hopefully uh old keeler over here doesn't eat her arm off and will shoot us a turkey this afternoon so we'll check big after a while see you then Give me for my bang hole. Pull it all the way down behind your head, baby. <laughs> Well, we're back in the saddle, where we are, set up, come to our honey hole that we seen some turkeys at, uh, seen like 18 yesterday, or a couple days ago, I guess, uh, look like four or five gobblers, um, so I'm hoping I've got the, uh, a Jake decoy and a strutter with a hen, so I'm hoping maybe I can get them fired up, uh, it's kind of warmed up a little bit from what it was this morning, I think Olivia might be taking a nap, she's got her belly full, so. We'll see what happens here in a little bit. I'm gonna let go a couple crow calls, see what happens. Stay tuned. Getting ready to go back in. These guys are set up, ready to go. We're gonna go back in, kind of where we went in this morning, a little further back in this corner. Back off in there, get set up, set for the afternoon and the evening, see what we see. We'll check back in when we get there. Getting set up here finally. Our spot in the back where we sat this morning. Uh, we had these birds roosted, I think, just over in there somewhere along these big trees just over my shoulder here. Uh, so we're planning on a game plan of them coming back here this evening. Hopefully, we'll find out obviously here in probably a couple hours, but. Uh, yeah, we're gonna sit here probably till just a little after dark. Maybe see if we can't hear these birds roost. 
maybe fly up around us if we, they don't come in for a shot, but we're still after them. Olivia's whittling at this point, so I think we're, we're doing all right. These all-day hunts are a little funner. That's for the kids. I think she's a goose hunter, not a turkey hunter. <laughs> Finishing up the uh, first day of youth season. We uh, we didn't get skunked. We seen a few that gave us the slip. It's still a little early in the season, so calls and decoys are not not real hot right now. Just kind of have to get lucky, and that we're we're in the line that they are. That when they swing by. I think the game plan is to kind of go back on the same property that we were at this afternoon and uh, maybe get set up on these birds that we put to roost. We actually seen them as we were leaving on a neighboring property about where they were gobbling at when we were still in, in the timber. Have an idea of where they're at. Libby, what do you got for us? First day. I'm really excited to go out tomorrow and hopefully we get a turkey. <laughs> How excited were you when we were thinking we were about to shoot one? Uh, I was very shaky. <laughs> were you I ready? I was very excited. I was ready. I was very shaky and I was like moving really, 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 really slow. So we're really ready for tomorrow, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Got all the shakes out. Got all the nerves out. Yeah. We'll see you guys tomorrow. We're set up, ready to go. Um, we roosted these birds last night. Um, after we left here, we actually seen them out in a pasture around neighboring property, uh, probably four or five hundred yards from here. Uh, they've gobbled a couple times over here but they sound like they've actually roosted on the other side of the track, so they must have crossed last night after we left, but, uh, yeah, we've got a pin on them. See what happens. We've got a couple hens calling this morning, so the, the woods are alive. Olivia's ready to smash. We'll see how this goes. Stay tuned. Second setup of the morning. <clears throat> we moved up here on top of this ridge where we've had the blind in the past. Um, we've had a couple gobble uh, since we moved up here. It sounds like they're probably within 250, 300 yards. Um, but we are at the back of the property line, um, and these birds are actually back over in there. So, we're waiting patiently. I get this camera working. We've had one in behind us that has constantly just yelped and yelped and yelped. It's really been about it. We haven't had a whole lot of action. bird that was gobbling over here across from us has kind of shut up for the time being but doesn't mean that he's not on his way so we're gonna set in here for just a little bit longer and then we're gonna go get some breakfast I don't know what we're gonna have yet the captain hasn't told us what we're having yet chef surprise maybe we'll check in
Hey guys, we're back at the car, you see. These guys are bailed in and ready to go. Um, so we did have that Tom come up to our setup. Um, she couldn't get the bead on him and he skated out before we could get a shot at him. And uh, just didn't work out. So we're, uh, we're packed up, got our stuff. We're gonna head over to another property and uh, try it after a while. I think she's about to eat her arm off. So we're gonna feed her before she eats one of us. And we will check in here in a little bit. See you guys after a while. Stay tuned. Although we didn't come home with a bird, it wasn't about coming home with one. It was about coming home with memories. At the end of the day, it was about the experience and getting Olivia out into the woods. She showed us things that we hadn't seen before, and I think we showed her a few things that she had never seen before. The plan is to get her back next year, and I think she's going to. Stay tuned.